Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into a hair review slash tutorial. So today we're gonna be talking about the Seven Magic Three Barrel Curling Iron, which I'm super excited to use because I haven't had a three barrel one yet. I have had a two barrel and not by Seven Magic. If you guys wanna hear more on this curling iron as well as what it does and see how I use it to create my hair look today, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not part of my beauty YouTube squad yet, then please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and comment and let me know if you guys have any seven magic products yourself. With that being said, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers. This video is sponsored by Seven Magic. I got to work with them on a few other occasions. I loved every single one of the products that they've sent me over the past. So I was super excited to receive another collaboration with them and work with them on their three barrel curling iron slash beach waver. I actually dumped a lot of my hot tools uh, for my Seven Magic products. So. That's how you know it's good, guys. With that being said, even though this is a sponsored video, as always, reviews and opinions are always 100% authentic and honestly me, because I am me and you are you, and we were all unique in our own way. Always remember what products work for me still may not work for you, even if we have the same beauty concerns. Now, as you guys can see, my hair is a bit wavy right now. I did braid it yesterday to put it in a bun. Me and my hubby went out with the kids, so we had some fun outside. So my hair is a little bit wavy, but we want some beach like loose waves. So it's gonna definitely look a lot different. I did just stick it up in this sleek ponytail, excuse the back that's trying to come out right now. Um, I used some mousse, which I'll show you guys what products I used in a second. And then we just tamed down our baby edges on the sides, our little sideburns. And again, just sleeked everything else up. Um, I'm using a regular ponytail and I have not put anything in my hair except for some curl cream that I used after I got out the shower a couple days ago. So as you guys will see the outro of this video, my hair will not be done or styled how it is throughout the middle of this video showing you how to use this just so you guys aren't as confused. First, I'm starting off the style by using my Caraco Tangle Buster brush with nylon bristles to detangle my hair. This will help to achieve a sleeker style with its iron technology. Brushing helps to part the strands to make them even when going through with the waver or any heat styling tool. These brushes help to defrizz if you do have that issue. And then I'm just going to pull out the top of the ponytail to tighten it and help raise it for that lifted look. For reference, after washing my hair a few days ago, while still damp, I added in the Royal Locks Curl Care Pro Curl Cream Gel with Argan Oil. To create the slick back, I used the Agadir Volumizing Mousse, and to tame and slick down the sideburns, I used the Kim Kimball Movie Set Mousse. To make the sideburns perfect and add the little curl, I had the help of the Red by Kiss Professional Edge Bore Fixer, which all the products mentioned will be listed down below. Off camera, I added on the Agadir spray treatment throughout the ponytail to help with any frizz and to add shine. This also helps to repair damaged hair and to further protect since we are using heat, I used the Kim Kimball Blockbuster Heat Protectant. So now that we have prepped our hair, we are moving on to our three bower curling iron. It features a long sturdy handle to open and close the clamp. It also features a pull down attachment to keep the hot iron off surfaces in between use. Next, there's the twist temperature gauge to lower, raise, or turn off the iron. And then at the end of the iron, where the cord is, you have a loop for the ability to hook the iron on when storing it away. Another feature I love in a styling tool is a long free turning cord. By free turning, I mean no matter how you turn the iron, there's no risk of tangles because it can turn wherever you go. There's no exact dimensions on the length of the cord, but I'd say it's around six feet. It has a super fast heat up time, as you guys can see and the digital display makes it easy to read. In the box, you get a stretchy heat glove, the manual, and two clips to hold the hair. I accidentally broke one trying to figure out how to use these as they aren't your normal looking clips. 
Now let's get into creating voluminous beach waves. You want to start off by parting sections of the hair. Start with one piece and clip back any remaining hair. Keep doing this as you go. I like to brush through each piece to make sure I get the sleekest look possible. I do have medium to thick and long hair, so I'm using the iron on 410 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll know when the desired temperature is reached when the number on the digital display stops raising. I didn't use the heat glove here, but I eventually put it on, not because the device was too hot, but because the hair was. Hold the section in place and starting from the root or base, open the clamp and insert the hair. It only takes a few seconds to get the wave in, but that is just for my hair based on my experience. It may vary across different hair types. After a few seconds, start moving the iron down and repeat until you've reached the end. As you guys will see when we speed up the video, I did start to use thicker sections to see how it would work. And it worked beautifully. I had no problems. So if you want to help create beach style waves with less time, I do recommend putting it in thicker sections, but you don't have to. The tip makes it easy to hold without getting hot on the hand and it's actually designed as an anti-scald piece for when you get close to the scalp so you won't burn yourself. As you can see the waver is working and adding big beautiful S wave curls while giving high shine. After this piece I sped up the video so you can see it done faster and so we can talk a little bit more on features and more info you should know if you've never used one of these tools before. This tool retails around $40. Again, you guys can check the description below for the link to purchase. I am not an affiliate, so I do not earn commission on your purchases. The tool claims to heat to 450 degrees in 30 seconds. And because there's three barrels instead of two, it means a faster styling time if you have long hair like me. I do have to vouch for the 450 in 30 seconds because as you guys even saw from the non sped up clip when we first started on the digital temperature display, you saw the numbers rise very quickly. There are six temperature settings that you can adjust to depending on your hair type, which we'll get to in a second. The unique PTC technology gives high and even heat to leave natural hair shiny. If you're forgetful or busy, this tool also has a one hour shut off time. It is recommended to blow dry hair after the shower and before using this tool for best results, but it's not necessary. I feel like my hair came out beautifully, but it probably would have came out even better if I did do this step. It's also recommended for a better curl to use the clip provided after ironing. This will help maintain the wave while it's cooling down. Take out the clip after 10 seconds or when you're ready to do the next strand. The temperatures, as we mentioned earlier, all in Fahrenheit go as follows. 230 to 300 degrees is for fine hair. 300 to 340 is for neutral or normal hair. 340 to 380 is for medium hair. 380 to 410 for thick hair. And 410 to 450 for coarse hair. I did notice that it did say six temperature settings, so I'm not sure what the extra one is. I'm guessing it would be the zero to the 230 which is before fine hair but it doesn't mention for what type of hair that would be for so that is really it for features and specifics i didn't see anything else written on their site about this product besides everything i mentioned in this video so far i do think this is a beautiful tool it's not super heavy it's not super super lightweight and flimsy feeling it's easy to work with and it holds the hair very nicely without any tugging. Looking at my hair after I was done with the style and even in the video, you guys can see there is no frizz at all. I didn't experience any. I did go ahead and add some Tricochi smoothing serum, which does help with frizz and add shine, but that was just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. As said, there was no frizz at the end. I just did it because it is a good product to use. I do have to note, this does leave that heat kind of smell in your hair, which isn't normally something bad for me. I feel like personally, all the heat styling products, whether that be curling irons, flat irons, beach wavers, uh, they all leave that type of smell in my hair. It could also be the products you're using or that I'm using if you do experience that.
And like said, I experienced that with no matter what product I use, no matter what brand, it can be on high end, a low end, or even an Amazon brand, I always experienced that hot heat smell in my hair. That is also why I like to use some type of product afterwards to help tame that smell down a little bit. I didn't do it here and it is pretty optional. It's up to you how you like your hair, but you can also take a wide tooth comb and brush out the S curls to make them a little more even throughout the hair, to make the hair a little thicker and just to make everything to your liking. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've dumped a lot of my heat styling tools for my seven magic ones, and I don't regret it. I absolutely love all them. If you guys do want to see more seven magic videos, let me know in the comments. I will also have links down in the description box as well as cards listed above in this video. So you guys can check out any other seven magic videos that I've done in the past. They do have a wide range of hairstyling products. I've gotten to test their titanium flat iron, which was amazing. I also got to test out the mini version and the full size version of their straightening hair brushes. If you guys haven't heard of that, you definitely got to check those out. They're so cool, especially the little small one. That's actually my favorite one because of the color. It's like this forest green and that one's very travel friendly so if you're on the go all the time or you need to take a plane flight somewhere that would be the best tool to use for straightening your hair overall i absolutely love this tool i love how it works for my hair and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me use this on a whole full head of hair i will try it again with the blow dryer and then this tool just let me know in the comments and also let me know what you thought about this hairstyle now we're going to go ahead and finish up our hair and give a moment so you guys can see the bounce, the volume, and all the beautiful looking S curls. all right guys so that is the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed it i hope you loved it i hope you loved the seven magic tool as much as i did i will definitely be using it more i think it's a great tool and it's really easy to use it has all your cool little features of course and again let me know in the comments if you guys have tried any of the seven magic products and if you have, let me know which ones. Again, I will have the link to purchase this bad boy in the description box below, so check that out. And with that being said, please join my beauty YouTube squad if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And show your support. Give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. As always, I'll see you guys back here next Thursday. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.